During an instrument approach procedure into a major capital city airport, the pilots are surprised by a warning alarm alerting them to an impending storm. I'll take over. Yeah. Taking over. The captain takes over control of the aircraft from the first officer. There's some confusion as the first officer assumes they're going around, but the captain configures the aircraft for landing. I think we can get it into land, I'll cancel that, we'll just try and get to land. They continue the landing without further incident, but they should have initiated a go-around procedure, which is the encouraged option in these situations. The investigation found communication problems between the crew had affected their performance and safety. The ATSB also found that previous occurrences had prompted the aircraft operator to issue an alert bulletin to their pilots. This alert highlighted the importance of following standard operating procedures and monitoring the approach, neither of which were conducted by the crew of this aircraft. Over the years, we've seen pilots reluctant to initiate go-arounds when something is not quite right. This has led to pilots persisting with the approach when they should have stopped and in some cases has caused confusion between the pilots. At its worst, this confusion can result in a catastrophic accident. On every flight, all pilots need to be familiar with the procedures for the approach well ahead of time and be aware of the dangers of deviating from the agreed plan. If there is any doubt about the safety of the approach, conducting a go-around is your only option. Safety should be your highest priority.